Welcome back, my friends, to Kaiser Redux, Rotem Morgan, in which we're playing as everyone's favorite propaganda minister, Herr Goebbels. Oh, isn't he so handsome? He's very stern. He's a francophobe, as well as a Volk's daddy. But, so, uh, this event here on screen is one we ended the last episode with. Now, I was thinking off screen here. Maybe we should go with the left side. But I decided, you know what, we're still going to stay on the right side, the nationalist route, even though we are technically, what is it, national Marxists? Very cool people, totalists. But I decided, ultimately, we're going to stay with this path for nationalists just because with this Rota Morgan uh, uh, submod, I would actually like to play this submod quite a bit, a few more times to try out the other leaders in the submod because it looks very, very interesting with, you can do with Peak, with a S S M or S M E P D SMEPD victory. With Peak or Tailman, as well as a Foul victory, as well as SPDR victory. I'd like to try out all those routes because it seems very interesting. In the, even though we also have the promise of democracy and, and Anarchist Future, and maybe even the, was it CDU or. Oh, no, the first mega corporation. Which I hear with this path, you can get a lot of math. But, anyways, um, but yeah, overall, we're going to go down the right side just because if it's a road to Morgan, you're probably not going to go too right wing too many times. But. Here we are regardless. So, I've also, let's see, last time we sent some volunteers, we lost quite a few volunteers, but I decided, you know what, screw it, even though I said that we wouldn't do it again, let's have a good old time again and uh, lose a couple more guys, because we could use the Army XP. Realistically, we could really use the Army XP, but we do have some more comments to go through as well. And we're... Did they? What happened here? Did we sent... Where are my divisions? They didn't die. I'm pretty sure they didn't die. I'm more... I'm pretty sure they didn't die over there in America. Uh, just because th th there's no chance for them to get encircled here. I believe we were like up here in Pittsburgh or something last time we saw them, but. Did we go to war with somebody? Oh, see, look. Yeah, National Workers Day expected to arrive. Expected to arrive. Sending one division back? Hmm. Okay. Well, we'll see what happens. I don't know. Uh, but first comment. Let's see, if you do one of the early army focuses, we can get the generals back. Because right now we have like very few generals. The, the generals that we currently do have are... Oh, we should probably do this one. Um, <clears throat> are the ones we had to get just from like spending political power. So we'll see what we can do. We're currently finishing up Deutsche Arbeiter Front, of course. Which gives us... Actually, I didn't realize it. Weekly stability, plus 1%. There's a lot of focuses here with our path that gives us weekly stability, which is just... Mm, I love it. I hope you love it as well. So, form the guard. This one, you get some more political power and a lot of good stuff as well. Uh, division attack and core territory plus 3%. More stability, more war support. A uh, culture conf, more political power. Very nice. Ooh. Oh, we replaced Strasser with Albert Speer. I love Albert Speer. Uh, don't quote me on that. And But yeah, I mean, we get some more focuses here that give us more uh, weekly stability, which is just, I think it's great. Right wing. National Marxist Diplomacy, the Synthetische Vela. After the nationalization, the merging of all media production and distribution into the UFA, Volk's daddy, Goebbels ordered them to find new means for the mass influence. An employee at the UFA was responsible for creating background sounds of the Elektrophone, and recordings of sounds he would manipulate came up with a new form of music, the Synthetische Musik. At first deemed un-German by his superior, its weird modern sounds did catch the Volksführer Goebbels. During a routine visit, the Volksführer was stunned by this new truly German form of music, and its ability to let people vibe on it while adding subliminal messages. A testament to the German supremacy, or be gone degenerate. Hmm. Do we like supremacy here? Or do we like getting degenerates? It's only one manpower. Synthetic uh, music? This this means that maybe with this music, we can instill the correct values into people. Why not? And it's German, so it is superior. Now, that's so weird. Why did we get our divisions back? I mean, yeah, the CSA doesn't does look, does look like it's doing that well right now. But, you know what? We have our one division here, one cavalry division. I'll send over uh, truck division, not uh, infantry. There you go. Let's see if we can send them right on back, because I don't know why they sent no to us. Maximilian. Okay, we can go back now. This makes no sense, but whatever. We can send 51 planes, 57 planes, actually. You guys are fighters, which is very cool. Good luck, guys. You're going to need it. And we're back in Spain. Hopefully not going to lose our divisions this time. My bad. You know, I really thought that we could do well and have the AI actually be competent. But I was sorely mistaken. We all make mistakes. But you know what? We can establish the Amt für 
Volk's Gesundheit. Actually, this one gives you, look at that, weekly stability at the cost of population. We can ban tobacco for less weekly stability for more population, monthly population. Environmental protection laws for more weekly stability and other good things too. Animal basic rights, which I think is great, weekly stability. And mandatory sport for more, you know, weekly stability, but for the formation of the German Workers Front. Under the recent decree of the Volksführer, Joseph Daddy Goebbels, all national unions are to be consolidated into one national union for the German workers. The newly formed German Workers Front, or the DAF, is expected to streamline and consolidate all national union bureaucracy into one unit to increase efficiency and save costs that would come with running multiple state unions. There is also a political aspect to it as well, as having one centralized union would ensure that less threats from organized labor would occur against the regime. The DAF is also expected to pursue several economic initiatives to bring greater opportunities for leisure and worker prosperity within Germany. A new day for the unionism in Deutschland. No one likes Austria. What else is new? I don't want to try to do an encirclement and get encircled, but you know what? I We're just suicidal here. We're just suicidal. So, to get the formation of the NVA, let's see. National Volks Army, Germany has to have sufficient industrial capacity to sustain an army again. Now, there's nothing we can do. None of these are lit up. So, everything's on the right side here. The World Revolution would be very cool, but the Smed has to win the congressional election, which won't happen. Back on the world stage. So, really, as much as I want to do this one, we need to have a bigger industry first. So, actually, we might want to go down here. Interlinked economy. That actually would be probably good to do. Yeah. As much as I want to do all this stuff. Um, actually, this one is really good for more weekly stability to get right off the bat. Um, Knight of the... Oh. Liebneck dies. Peak dies. Oh. On how to lager. Germany Reborn looks really good. You get more 0.25 more political power every single day. Monthly population, recruitable population factors, st weekly stability gain, uh, max volunteer force divisions, plus five. Good lord. Justify World Goals Times goes down by 50%. Just, it looks so good. But I think this seems more economically focused, so we probably want to get through this one very quickly. So, National Corporatism, which looks pretty good. Max factories in a split of more max factories in a state, plus two, plus 30% construction speed. Holy bad word, unlike the other revolutionaries, we value competition and struggle as much as we value the fair treatment of the German Volgenossen. We will continue to allow private enterprises, but enforce class cooperation and massive social programs for which the private industries will have to pay a share in too. Very good. Son, can I just... Oh, there goes a Black Revolt. Goodbye, Black Revolt. Alright, just hold. I've learned my lesson last time. Do not do things too harshly. I am worried about this area here, though. But the fads, you're almost guaranteed. Well, I wouldn't say maybe almost guaranteed. These guys are attacking, which I don't like. I want to be on the defense. These guys are attacking, attacking, attacking. It looks like if you guys... Are you guys... Oh, you are attacking. Oh, CSA. CSA. What is wrong with you? Um, You're attacking here. Looks like you're getting attacked up here. So maybe it'd be best to go over here against the American Union state, which is not easy to play as. At least in my opinion. I could be very wrong about that, but who knows? The Volkswagen? You get more weekly stability, less consumer goods. The Volksempfänger? Oh, daily pickle power? Nice. The Kraft durch Freuden. Schönheit der Arbeit. Der Volkenos. Not bad. Um, we do have a lot of PP. I would like to get more stability, but especially more political power as well. Mandatory sport. Uh, more political power, more weekly stability seems pretty good to me. This one is not too bad. This one's probably the best. Environmental protections. We value nature above all and must ensure its cont continuity. For this reason, we will enact several environmental protection laws. When removed, we get quite a bit more stability every single week. Oh, it's already looking pretty darn good if I say so myself. Oh, I like the purple. Synthetic music. Reject modernity. Embrace tradition, my friends. Improved capital gunnery. Happy almost 1938. 1938. A Germanic epic. Since its creation and consolidation, Ufa has been able to breathe life into the cinema industry, however. Despite its great growth and influ growing influence in international cinema, it is yet to match that of places like Hollywood, however. The Vogue's daddy has a grand plan to change that while also potentially creating the greatest film, in greatest film of all time. Uh, a certain Adolf Schmittler, the Austrian corporal and war hero who bravely gave his life for the German people and the nation and whose public journals were organized into a best-selling book, will be the center of a film series about his fight and triumphs named Sein Kampf. His, after securing the remaining private journals from the necks of Kin, Geli, Rabal, Raubel, Goebbels and a team of hand-picked script writers will scour over the documents to create a grand script for the series already. Ufa has been able to assemble an 
ensemble cast for the series with Hans Albers cast as a brave Daddy Hitler, and with other major actors and actresses such as Willy Frisch, Zara Leander, Heinz Ruma, and Johannes Histers, and Marika Ruck in supporting roles, with Goebbels himself at the helm as director, with g directors Lenny Riefenstahl and Karl Frohlich, who sounds familiar, serving as special advisors, and Herbert von Kajan as composer for a score, signed comp as a greatly ambitious project on nearly all levels, however. Papa Goebbels is intending to go another mile to smash expectations by having the whole film done in Technicolor. While many old hold private doubts on whether this colossal project, the Volksführer is adamant in his resolve that this series will succeed, and with it will secure Germany's place as a leader in international cinema, a film series to stand above them all. Ooh, a night at the theater! After a long and grueling production process, the first film in Sein Kampf series, Graben der Herrlichkeit, or Trenches of Glory, has been released for distribution. On the opening night in Berlin, the, the ensemble team and the Volksführer were present at the first ever public screening, along with a fair amount of the party military leadership. Most notably, Herr Hitler's surviving former comrades, who served with him in the Valkyrie and in Russia, were invited at a personal insistence of Goebbels himself, along with Hitler's half niece, Raubel, who provided the remaining private journals for filming. The three hour and 50 minute long epic showcases the life of Herr Hitler in Austria before moving to Bavaria, to enlist in the German army at the outbreak of the Valkyrie before he is thrust into the trenches fighting the degenerate French barbarians in northern France. The highlight of the film is undoubtedly the first ba uh, battle of Ypres, where Hitler bravely defends his trench against the hordes of French charging in as the score swells to a crescendo of gunfire and artillery. The power of the whole scene, especially when Hitler marches bravely or braves the machine gun fire to rescue a fellow wounded private, was so immense that it reportedly drove many to tears, including Ernst Röhm and Geli Rabel. Everything from the acting to the score and to the technical achievements is already starting to be overwhelmingly praised domestically and even in some places internationally where the film is being screened. A testament to the triumph of the soldiers' will and a legacy secured. Gegen de Horden des Ossens. Very cool. That's a family movie. <laughs> uh, RVA. Resource in the Staatlichung's Action. The Resources Nationalization Action. We will nationalize all resources and water supplies inside of Germany to protect the basic needs of national survival from capitalist roots of evil. Evil. You guys can probably beat them up, but then again, I've been wrong before. Can we get the number to go up, please? Not down. Can we not? Hold on. Can we not? Not enough intel. Hmm. Do we not? Hold on. Do we send any volunteers? Like, planes? Ah, okay, there we go. Maybe not. Now, are you guys Air Force fighters? Cool. Can you guys actually win, maybe? That'd be kind of cool. Are you guys doing okay over here? That'd be kind of cool as well. Oh, please don't tell me you're attacking. Uh, where's the other division? Oh, you just kind of get over there. Oh, the courses are doing okay, though. Oh, yeah, they're actually getting a little bit of action. What are you guys doing? You guys uh, hanging out? You want to partake, partake in some of the fun? Fun activities for everyone! RVA. Oh, we're getting attacked in our butts. Well, that's not good. 31, don't lose. That's the most important thing, just don't lose. So how are we doing down here? Are we doing okay? Or is it red? Is it blue? Is it green? Oh, I like the green. That's very nice. Well, as long as you're learning Adolf. And getting more army XP. Look at that. How are we doing in Austria? We're doing quite okay. Just don't get in circle, for the love of God. Please don't get in circle. Intellect economy. Well, we can't do that one, which kind of sucks, but national labor service. Germany Reborn would be super nice and fun to have. I really want that one, but I think we got to go down this way. So, Agarian subsidies, we're going to go with national labor service. We will establish a national national Arbeitdienst, or NAD, a social union for unemployed Volksgenossen that will have to have active connections into all branches of industry to find work for the unemployed as well as putting them to the use as auxiliary force workforces where needed. Tolos and Baratia Commune. Very cool. Are you guys attacking? Are you guys winning? No? Well, then why are you attacking? Oh, you got encircled. Again, why did we get encircled? God dang it. Every time I try to help them out, we get encircled. How? How are you guys not dead yet, either? How much manpower do these guys have? Hold on, hold on. Oh, Engel Dolphus. An Austrian all... How much manpower do you have, son? The Futak. Volksgebos has declared that the Latin alphabet, due to its foreign origin, will be phased out by the Germanic 
Fult hoc scriptia. All citizens will be obligated to learn Fult hoc script, as after a period of two years, the Latin alphabet will be banned for official documents in schools. Return to the old. Very cool. How did we get encircled here, guys? For realsies. Like, I was hoping we'd do okay. I was hoping we would be, you know, pretty good about this. But you know what? I guess it's just destined for us in this campaign to just lose a bunch of soldiers. God dang it. Can we please just not lose here? The Red Flood. If you like to read about Red Flood, this happens every time in Kaiser Redux. Please go right ahead. It just happens. I don't want. I don't feel like reading it, so. Hey, coming to Hawaii, join the Third International. Welcome aboard. And let's see, can we choose anyone else here? Industry is not bad currently. If, oh, if false, eh, let's see, what do we have over here? Fighter stuff. Really, weapons are what we're going to use for this year already to research. Weapons, artillery. Soft attack, breakthrough, god, 15% more. Soft attack and 10% more breakthrough would be really nice. Defense and soft attack? 10% soft attack and 15% more defense? Ooh. Do we like Rheinmetall or Krupp Gustav Fabrik? Wait, why does it have that insignia there? Hmm. Breakthrough is not bad. Soft attack. Well, soft attack seems pretty nice. More defense. Eh, I'll do it. Why not? Seems like we're holding out here. I follow Madrid. That is quite good. Keep holding on, guys. You're doing a good job. Uh, are we guys getting attacked anywhere else, maybe? Yes, no, maybe so. Please just don't get in circle for the love of God. Hmm. How? Why? I'm done with Austria. I've got to be done with Austria. Please look, tell me I'm done with Austria here. How are they? Yeah, they really don't like these. Oh, we're, we actually might be winning. But, like, oh my goodness. It is not good for us. So we're off to attack. Kill more of them. And when they're done, kill some more. Oh, Salvadoria. Nice. Oh, man, that's a weird... Uh, Lithuanian, dude. Try your best and don't die. Oh, we're actually winning. Okay. There still might be a little bit of hope. We went down superior firepower, so even more uh, organization, please. Thank you. Gunta. I love all these... Uh, oh, we look at the stability. Wow. Until the enemies goes way down. More local manpower plus more division organization. That's pretty nice. That is pretty darn nice, not gonna lie. Nice, good job, guys. How are we doing over in America? We're doing okay. We're definitely doing okay. Everyone here has generals, which is very good. So, oh crap, now we're starting to lose more. Guys, can you please just get Vienna? Come on, Illyrians. Come on. But in the meantime, technocratic influence. More daily pickle power, resource efficiency gain, weekly stability, retention cap, military, civilian construction speed, get a research slot. We will incorporate several aspects of technocratic thought to increase our economic growth. Yes, please. Come on, guys, you got this. They're just Austrians, they're not even Germans. Don't make me, I will force defense. Guys, you've got to get fast, go faster than this. Gunther, come on, Gunther. I'm not going to risk my divisions anymore for just, you know, uh, encirclements here, so. Slovenians, come on. Oh, come on, get Vienna, get Vienna. That's probably all you need, son. This division's counting on you. I don't care how many times we gotta do it. More force defense. Come on, Austria. Fall, fall, fall. Oh, how are we doing down here? If you'd like to assist them, that'd be okay with me. If you'd like to assist them down here, too, I'm also okay with that, maybe. No, never mind. I'm not. How are we doing in America? Can you guys please stop attacking? I don't want to lose these soldiers. Come on, Slovenia. Oh, you... Get Vienna. Come on. Come on. Beat up those Hungarians. Are they Hungarians? Yeah, they're, they're Hungarians. The second saudi Omani war. Well, that's nice. Oh, come on, guys. Come on. Please, please, please. Also, in other comments. 
Uh, yeah, going totals or national pockets. That was one of the comments. I, I want to do both, but obviously you can only choose one. Come on, Slovenia. You're doing a great job. You've done a great job, son. Technocratic influence. Very nice. Agarian subsidies, shall we? Instead of collectivization and expropriation, we will found a national farmer union and give subsidies to our farmers. Oh, we got so much PP. Cool. Um, we could probably use more construction speed. Uh, we'll see. Chief of the Army. Well, we are going with infantry here. Division organization supply consumption is probably honestly best just because it helps uh, us overall with every single division. But I do want to make sure that we do what we need to do for this stuff. So. Uh, by the front. Ooh, stability. It's not bad. Consumer goods, I like that. I'm not even sure what we're building, so let's take a double check that right now. Consumer goods goes down. Let's do this one. We're building a lot of civvies. We're nowhere near where we have to be, though. Holy crap, in 1938. Yeah, that's not good. Let's grab some of this, too. Come on. You took Vienna. What? What's next? Linz? <sighs> Oh, what? Oh, there you go. Look at that. You guys are still holding on somehow. I like it, but... Why did you guys peace out? Why, why, what the... What are these borders? What are these borders, man? Please, just lose grass. Please, just lose the war. For love of God, please, 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 please. Just lose the war right now, please. I don't want to lose a division again. <laughs> They're holding out very well. Like, Hoffner's actually learning something here. Which is a little surprising. How are they supposed to get to Trieste now? This might be a little bug. Oh, get bows in or something? I don't know. If we attack, we're not going to be able to break out of here, so. That division is pretty much probably as good as dead. Hmm. God dang it. How are we doing down here? Not much is going on, but they seem like they're slowly, slowly winning. Guys, Bozen is open. Why are you attacking me? Attack Bozen. Oh, my goodness. <sighs> yeah, I was going to attack here, but then they threw in another division, so I guess we have to wait. All right, uh, ban Tabaki. That's fine. We could do that, but let's get some more political power, perhaps. Point three. It doesn't really matter. Basic animal rights. And then we will do... Oh, okay. National Socialist Market Economy. Oh, National Socialist, huh? We've achieved what we call the National Socialist Market Economy, a corporate str uh, social corporate market economy, in which private and nationalist industries work hand-in-hand -in, -hand in the interests of the, nation of the nation and the people with a strong social system that is interlinked with the party to ensure total loyalty. We go to closed economy. Okay, so we remove recovering economy and replace national corporate economics with national socialist ec market economics. More max factories. Wow, we get quite a few stuff. It's not major big things, but there's a lot of small things here. So, we remove recovering economy. Is that a good thing to do? What is recovering? Oh, God. Oh, baby. No, 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 no. That is bad, bad, bad. I should have beelined for that one earlier. Two political power, though. Day is not bad. Come on, guys. You can hold out, right? Come on, Gooba. Oh, Jimmy's first doggo. After signing the decree to guarantee the basic rights of animals, a little party of high-ranking NMDVP members was held in the Volksführer's office. Towards the end of the party, a beautiful dog was brought in as a gift to the Volksführer, who instantly took her in as a new member of the Goebbels family named her Susie. All love Susie. Who doesn't love Susie? How many Austrians have we killed here? I would love to know. How much manpower do you guys have left? You guys have probably tons of manpower left. Yeah, they've got tons of manpower left. My goodness. Ha, huh, terrible. Who? Huh. Uh, how much... What else do we have here? Do we have enough artillery? Yeah, oh god, we gotta have enough artillery for this, right? Thank you. If we were to do this, we would still have enough, but let's just go and reset it. Alright, we don't have engineers for these guys, which is pretty bad, actually, so... Motorized is not too bad. Guns, we've got enough. At least for now, make these guys 20 combat width. That'll be good. That'll be actually pretty darn nice. Makes yourself even stronger. Um, wait, hold on. So for this, we have... The ones with artillery and the other ones. This one is not very good division type. Uh, what do we ha Oh my goodness. Honestly, I don't even want to know. Um, I want to emphasize tanks a little bit as well. But really, which one do we prefer? The division with 20 combo width with in engineers and infantry or the ones with artillery? Probably. Ooh, it doesn't actually really matter either one. So take this one off again. There you go.
And we'll do the same thing for... Oh, Panzer Divisions. That one we can actually take off. That's fine. But the rest of you guys, just go ahead and switch to this one. That's fine. Panzer Divisions, Infantry. Yeah, this one's not very good to keep. Auslung, Festo Commandos. We might keep that. That's fine. Heavy Armor don't care about. Garrisons are actually really good to keep as well, so... Yeah, I'm surprised we're actually... How are we getting supplies? I don't understand how we're getting supplies over here, but you know what? I'm not going to question it. I'm not. Fuel refining is nice, though. Very nice. Uh, bonus. Go and grab that. We need that immediately. And I want to read about the next one. Organic growth. Holy cow. That looks like a lot of factories. It might be. It might not be. Um, actually, you know what? No, let's get the technology done first. Maybe this by doing this last focus, we can get some uh, other stuff done as well. How are you doing, Adolf Becca? Not bad, not bad. How are we doing over here? Oh, actually defending still. Go figure. Maximilian, how are you doing? Ah, there we go. Improved infantry equipment. Nice. Um, we could convert some of our guys over to... Oh, we actually might need this. Maintenance companies. Um, Mountaineers. That wouldn't be bad. Maybe not good, right? But not bad. 39. Get some radar. Five research slots is nice. Now that's pretty darn nice, not gonna lie. Son, please don't lose. Please don't lose. For the love of God. Why are you attacking me still here? Attack Bozen. Why are you attacking this area? Attack Bozen. Ah, uh, going to Hab Habna. I've tried so hard. Trying to not die here. God, uh, when I'm done with with an industry and stuff. Oh, still can't do that. That is very weird. Um, I'm going to just smash the hell out of the Austrians. Organic growth. Oh, military factory and civilian construction speed. Culture comp would be nice. Uh, this one's not too bad either. Yeah, plus 15%, plus 10%. How many civvies do you get? 1, 2, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Nine more civvies and military factories. That is so good. But I want to... Uh, the Volksführer does have a very clear vision of the Germany he wants to build. A German, a Germany of triumph, ox, and German architecture. Oh, boy. God dang it, we're going to lose this guy. Why? Why did Slovenia give up? Why are these guys doing nothing? Please hold, please hold. Come on, Gunta. Good, you got hopefully a little more organization from that. Don't lose, guys. Please don't lose. Do we have air bases around here? No, we do not. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Oh, you can't do anything because you're a little bit too big for them. Keep holding on. Um. Okay, so mandatory sport. Uh. Population. Let's ban tobacco. How about that? No. He's fought that so hard. He's becoming a mountaineer. Oh come on! Stop attacking me. Yeah, I, I really want to go to war with the Austrians really badly. Just don't attack me. They don't have enough entrenchment yet, but they're getting there. So after this one, we will probably go down and do what? When do we get this one done and locked? Because NVA. Maybe it's we do this one? Uh, oh, the conviction of Oscar Delvanga. A silence of horror would be a fitting description for the ambience in the court that day. Delvanga was on trial for murder and rape of several minors. Jesus. Shocking even the experienced judges that day. Now Delvanga pleaded guilty while showing off a grim smile. Afterwards, the judge sentenced him to, to life in the Urals. Oh, death by hanging. Firing squad. Ooh, gas. I like that. Oh, minister. Two, two more research slots. Oh, did they, were they planning on something else down here? That's kind of cool. Yoran Autobahn. Division speed plus 20%. Wow. Uh, I, I think we got a race for this one. Plus two more research slots. Organic growth. Our industry is growing on its own and we'll continue to do so. Uh, of course, once we get this one done. But, like, do we have to really go Germany Reborn to, to get our divisions? Or do the military stuff? No, baby, no. Creation of the Volkswagen. Not bad. Um, 
We are winning, but our organization continues to go down. Oh, hold on. Thanks to the recent effort of targeted funding for nationalized automobile plants in Germany, the NMDVP has now perfected an affordable car readily accessible to the German people. Dubbed the people's car, the Volkswagen is significantly cheaper compared to the consumer vehicles on the market during the reign of the Kaiser, while sacrificing little in terms of quality and efficiency. By allowing an affordable car to be given to the people of Germany, it is expected to reduce travel times to and from work while reducing the strain on public transport. Aside from the obvious uh, efficiency increase, the car will now give German families more incentives to travel across Germany, whether it be for leisure or vacation. As the automobile plants begin the first vehicles rolling off the assembly line, the Volkswagen is expected to be readily available in the most major urban centers by the end of the year. A true model of German engineering in the hands of the people. Yeah, we gotta get that extra two research slots. Holy bad words. I love having a lot of stability, too. Please, baby, please. We were so good to you. Why do you beat us like this? Good job, guys. Nice. Get more defense. That'll help us out. 38. We got so much. We got to keep doing some of this stuff, I guess. Uh, let's see. Sonar? I guess. Why not? Come on, Gunta. You got to learn more. How are we doing it in the other fronts? Over here, we're just kind of hanging out. You guys actually probably could probably take those guys out. And then Syndicate Volunteers are doing what? Kind of just hanging out. Oh, the feds have been beating back a little bit more. Oh, they're actually really attacking quite harshly. Maybe fight against the feds. I don't know. We'll see. Okay. Please take Bozum. Please take Bozum. Just let them capitulate. I don't want to lose a division, man. Please. Spare the men. Kill off the Austrian rebels. Or they're just going to walk away after they win the battle. And you can just walk on in. What the garbage is going on? I'm not understanding this at all. And Austria now is going to war the Serbs? What is this? Oh, the rage. Oh, baby boy. What did you just do to piss him off? We, of course, we aren't in the Third International, which is kind of weird, but that's fine. Of course, we have our army already poised to strike Poland. You wouldn't be a good German if you don't go to war with the Poles or take them out. There goes Bulgaria. After that... Nua Schwer Industry. The current German industry is not sufficient for our future goals. We must expand our heavy industries as much as possible. So replace technocratic influence with Nua Schwer Industry. More political power, daily resource efficiency gain, production efficiency gain, cap, research speed, synthetic oil, con military construction factory speeds of all sorts. Please, just go. 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 Come on. Okay, please. Capitulate. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. How are they not dead? How are they not dead? How? Ow! God, they don't give up. They just don't give up at all. Uh, let's see. We need to keep doing one of these because we can't do this all the time. This one's less consumer goods. Schönheit for the Arbeit. I love it. Ich liebe dich. Oh, no. Tree. Oh, my. Giddy aunt. Oh, we're probably going to lose that division there then. We're going to need way more guns. Way more of this. Uh, you can actually go to three, because we can make way more guns more quickly. So. Why? Why does it have to be like this? Why? Why does Tree S have to be the capital of the re rebellion? <laughs> oh my goodness. Why? Why? Why do you put us through this treachery? Uh, we're using Cast, I believe, right? Cast, Cast Daddy. Uh, light tank destroyers, we're not going to use those. Um, fighters, fighter, close support. Yeah, tactical bombers making none. We're going cast daddies. Might as well do this one then. Hmm. All right, so we're looking okay here. If you'd like to help support the attack, that's fine with me. You might do not well, but maybe. All right. You, well, hold. You guys are getting pounded right there. Maybe will come up there and help out, maybe. We'll see. And on the American front, these guys are getting attacked. It's fine. Whatever. And the Austrian front, they're veterans, man. They are veterans. If you take off all their tiles here, will they capitulate? Will they, will they lose? Did they didn't lose? Look at that resistance. The traitor. It was late in the evening when the door to the Volksführer's office silently opened and Patel 
Oh, it entered it. He drew his Luga, pointing it directly at the Volksführer. He started to speak gibberish and strange things about the Volksführer being a reactionary, not revolutionary enough. Having betrayed the revolution which he, Karl Otto Patel, would now save him from, the Volksführer stared in the Patel's eyes and only commented that someone as ugly as Patel should have never put in, put in, had been put in charge of anything. Then a shot was fired, and so it ends. The traitor. The hero. Patel lies on the floor, itching in pain. His blood leaves his body from the hole in the back. Behind him stands Ernst Rohm, head of Volkssturm unit in charge of the Volksführer security. Mind held. Nice. I'm tempted to just go to war with these guys. But they're allied with... Uh, it's all the... You know, these guys. Hmm. Guys, please. How? How are you, how are we do, how are you holding on to like this? I guess we can actually probably go there, too. Cool. Can we do this one yet? Oh, we can, but... Uh, uh, two research... We can't... We gotta go two research slots first. The Ministry for Special Projects will recruit our brightest minds to fulfill our biggest dreams in both scientific advancements and mega projects. Yes. 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 A thousand times yes, my friends. Beat these reactionaries. Nice. It is almost 39. Let's just grab that. That's very good. Please, please, for the love of God. We have held on longer than these guys have. How? Because we're pure-blooded, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> please, just capitulate them. Please. We've survived longer than they have. Oh! Okay! That's not bad. Oh, Hungary's gonna get just triple teamed. Oh, hold on, these guys are independent. Look at that, now they're also somewhat independent. Can someone kill Austria, please? Hungary, can you... Can you please kill Hungary? Oh, I can send them volunteers, but I just don't think it'd be worth it. Alright, so you're forever trapped. There. Um, it'd be really good if we could take that tile and take it. I kind of doubt. Oh! Oh! Is that, is that it? I don't think that's it. I don't think that's it. Oh, Bohe. Oh, oh, no, they are fighting them. Oh, they're. Oh, we still might be saved. This episode has all just been about Gunther Hafner and his men. The few remaining guys left. They only have 3,000 men left out of 10,000. Oh, my goodness. Please, come on. Can we win? Can we please win in Austria at least? Actually, you guys might be able to strike down here and do well. If you force the attack, you could probably do very well and encircle somebody here. Come on. Come on. Please take him out. Please, for the love of, of uh, the Fuhrer. The Volk's daddy. You took out Vienna. Get Graz. Come on. Please don't lose. Please don't lose. Did we get him? Did we get him? Oh, we got some more of this. That's nice. We could use it, but meh. Anything else? No. Establish the Amt for Volksgesundheit. Very good. There goes Albania. <clears throat> Force it so they can get in there quickly. Oh, we got him. Oh my goodness. And formation of the NVA. We've restored enough industrial capacity to sustain an official armed forces again. To secure our national security, the National Volks Army. With the planned branches of the Navy, National Volks Marine, the Air Force, National Luftwaffe, and the Army Nationals Volks here. We will bring it up an ambitious plan and dream for a modern military. Great. Jesus Christ. Yeah, we could really use these guys. Like, use these extra slots. Like, bruh. Totally. Good job, men. Uh, well, the, well, the, well, technically they did get cut off. They did get cut off, but they did. Guys, please. Guys, please. Austria's been in civil war and wars for so long. Catholic features. They've lost quite a few, quite a bit of manpower, though. Come on, Gunther. This episode has just been featuring him the entire time. Um, attacking anywhere here seems kind of suicidal. Maybe except for here? Never mind. It's kind of suicidal.
This is a really bad idea, but what if we help up down here? Cool. Oh, not bad, not bad. You might want to get up here too, just in case. There goes the Ottomans. Very cool, very cool. Another comment was, uh, do more equestrian war, as well as, we're so authoritarian. It doesn't matter which ideology we are. Pretty much. Oh, they took Graz. They got it. Come on. Come on, guys. Oh, there goes Armenia. Goodbye, Armenians. Good, good, uh, good luck in the next one. Oh, come on. What did they have left? Bozen? Okay, after this one, um, which one do we do? Elected officers, we're going to establish a classic uh, officer corps, but well, the generality, and so we'll establish a democratic armed forces. We can't go that way because we don't have talent or the fouled. Skilled officers, we should put an officer, officer corps of skilled officers regarding their political orientation. Well, we can't do that one either because we don't have Talman, Peak, or SPD. But we do have political officers. Our army must be in line with the party orthodoxy. Potential enemies of the state cannot be allowed to hold any position of power inside our armed forces. We get more attack, we lose defense. Oh, I don't like that one right now, but I'm going to do it anyways. Rehab rehabilitation of Reichswehr officers. Oh! Well, many of the more liberal and less pragmatic leftists may protest this. We have no but no choice to make up, make use of generals that served in the Reichswehr to build up our own new farm, armed forces. Welcome back. All right, so let's take a look at this. We're building a lot of these, but we need some more uh, millies right now as well. So, Schönheit der Arbeit. Ooh, the DAF has announced the creation of a new subsidiary agency named the Schönheit der Arbeit, or the beauty of labor. Through the SDA, the DAF is using generous state funding to renovate workplace facilities and promote better hygienic standards across Germany. Mess halls, locker rooms, and bathrooms will be all given renovations to bring them up to a certain hygienic standard. While on the propaganda front, the SDA will encourage Germans to do things such as wash their hands and even to quit smoking. The DAF hopes that through the activities of the SDA, Workplace happiness and productivity will go up, along with a potentially increased lifespan of the German workers through promoting cleanliness and better workplace standards. Cleanliness is next to godliness. Very much so, yes. We've built a lot of carriers so far. Look at that. Um, let's see. Is there anything that we have just... Okay, we don't have that many carriers in any of these. I'm actually going to give you half of you guys already to this group because they have nothing in them. And then I'll split you guys up into a little bit more. There you go. And then there you go. Not bad. I'm glad, I'm glad we actually looked at these guys. And you guys, uh, actually, all you guys do is sue, so since we have enough fuel for now. Oh, you, you guys are doing that already. Which is good. You guys you need to train, seriously. Cairo pack, not bad. Man, there's so many civil wars going on right now. It's not even funny, man. But sometimes you guys tell good jokes. Louisville, can you actually break down into there, maybe? Eh, there's a chance. Alright. Volksempfänger. Party popularity stability modifier. Uh, get more political power. We only get 2.28 every single day. That's not much. <laughs> Poland. Alright. Okay, then. Adolf Becker. Oh, they're all getting killing each other now. Jesus. Why are we one of the most peaceful nations right now in Europe? Obviously, we weren't earlier, but, you know, whatever. We don't talk about that. Selbstleder. Get. Viesisch. Yes, please. Oh, my God. Please tell me they're going to win. Please tell me they're going to win. Please, 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 please. Can we even afford to move? Extraction, yes, please. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, oh, that's, that's nice. Get some rubber then. Nice. Good. Can we break free? Okay. Oh, okay. That's very weird, but okay. Come on, please. Oh, did they do it? Where's the capital? Where's the capital, please? I just want my soldiers home. Come on. <laughs> Where, why are they not dead? Is Pola the capital? Where's Salzburg? OK. 
Guys, please. Canada intervenes in the... Oh, up, well, there goes the CSA. Trento? How are these guys still have manpower, man? They're, they have less than 100,000. That's not good. Syndicate? Oh, you guys are going to get the crap smacked out of you then. Oh, baby. Oh, mama. Cavalry divisions. Um, I don't mind. Maybe How many light tanks do we have on you guys, actually? We got plenty. Instead of doing that, can I just convert you to Panzer? Yeah, that's not bad. Throw the motorized on. How much motorized do we have? Motorized. Oh, we got plenty. Yeah, I just convert them to tanks. And that's all the army speed we got. So, you. Welcome. To the upgrade. Even though you're going to have, like, no strength now. Which sucks, but whatever. Delay. Very good, very good. Grab some mobile defense for even more defense. Please. Please just kill them off. Please. Rubber. Pretty good. And better anti-air, which I also want to get more anti-air as well. We have so much artillery. I love it. Division mates artillery. Well, we wouldn't want to lie about this, but we have no army XP. Political officers. Nice. National Luftwaffe. Books on me. Books here. Overwhelming numbers. Mass conscription. Superior firepower. Ooh, artillery, yes. Panzer Troopa. Panzer Grenadiers. Oh, that's not bad. Mechanized? Eh. Overall, it seems like it's, this one's a little better, so. Nationals evokes here. We can now finally establish an army branch of a newly formed armed forces. Very good. How are these guys not dead? How? How are we not dead? You can tell the game's lacking pretty badly uh, when like, you know, the national focus is not dead. Oh, the Western Command Center's gone. That's not good. I kind of doubt you guys can break over there. It'd be really good if you get down here, though, but I really doubt it. Really doubt it where you guys are headed at. Yeah. All these civil wars. Oh my gosh, the CSA is not looking good right now. These guys should be completely surrounded and have no supply. Then again, we've had no supply here either, so I'm not sure what's going on anymore. I really don't. Field marshals. Uh, yes, we use you. Generals, finally. Van Lieb. Klusha. Van Kleist. I guess actually going to be training. Thank you. And you guys should be led by. Van Witzleben. Apollos. Oh. Van Witzleben. Anything else? Go offensive, maybe. On a defensive, maybe. Oh, expert delegator. That's actually fine with me as well. I almost never use it, so we might as well, right? Uh, let's go with... Hadler. And Henrici. I usually use Henrici. I like Henrici. Just because it sounds very Italian for a German group. How? What? How? Look at that. They're almost dead. Austria's almost dead. 88% of the way there. These guys are not. They lost 80,000. They, no, they have no divisions left. They're still alive somehow, but... Okay, Innsbruck has been taken. Not bad. That's actually very good. Maybe they can get to Salzburg, finally. Mandatory sport? Might as well, right? Oh, we're actually getting attacked too. Becca? And we're still getting attacked all over the place. Australasia, first movement. Alright, so then we'll probably do overwhelming numbers for more defense to make up for the deficit here of minus 5%, and do superior fire practice. I just think that's the best overall. Our military will rely on numbers and human wave tactics to overwhelm any enemy by brute force, which would be good if we get attacked, we need to attack, things like that. Not bad. Just because I want... It's not much. It's only 5% more, but still. Oh, I got some tanks in here too. Look at that. Is this... What is this? Southern Indiana? That really sucks fighting there. Hmm. Nice. Oh, yeah. Oh, they're not doing that well. Look at that. Engineering companies. Very good. We actually have time to do this now, too. Mm -hmm. Radar. Why would you even attack that? Why? Okay, so what... Does anyone have manpower left? Two to five thousand. A hundred thousand, maybe. And a hundred fifty thousand, maybe. So yes, you guys keep attacking. Hopefully they will die. 
Oh, they actually pushed him out. Nice, not bad for those guys. Back up, come on, keep learning. Actually, how many planes can we send here? That's not bad, maybe we can make a few more planes here, maybe. Uh, maybe not. Oh, maybe. Well, I guess technically we're done there, so... Thanks for that, guys. Appreciate it. There we go. Now you might be winning more battles here. That'd be very good. <clears throat> How's America doing? How are we doing over here? Well, we can send the other one, the other 50 planes over here, too. Not bad. Gives us even more air speed. Are you guys seriously attacking? Could you actually win here? You still might. Detroit must be just god-awful to fight in right now. Oh, baby. Oh, mama. Only 50%, but that's alright. Can Austria please lose? Please, for the love of God. They're just, just get rid of them. <laughs> Come on. Constitutionalist revolt in Brazil. Cool. Centralization is never easy. Oh, there's a lot of lag. What's going on now? Oh, it's lagging so hard. Oh, did we, did we, oh my God, did we do it? Oh, that's so disgusting. Russian seat. What the heck? Oh, did we do it, though? Oh, please tell me. Gunter Habner is returning. Oh, my goodness. Oh, he's returning home. Oh, my goodness. The fall of Detroit. Oh, that's not good. Oh, my goodness, though. We actually are going to get our boys home. Our boys are coming home from Austria. Holy crap. I didn't think it would be possible. I thought we'd lose them again. This has just been one heck of an episode for me, at least. Because we lost so many guys last time, but now we get our boys back. Yes. Yes, please. Oh, cool. Can you actually win here? You actually might be able to win there. That'd be pretty good. Superior firepower. And support to our massive numbers. We shall so employ a massive artillery force to shield our enemies into oblivion. Under the decree of the Volksführer Goebbels, a new national printing press will be opened to better inform the German pop people of the party's successes. Named a Volksgenosse, the NMDVP, is hoping that this new national newspaper will become the prime source of news and information given to the German people and to act as a counter to the remaining red opposition papers within Germany. Already, the paper is becoming widely distributed across newspaper stands and the doorsteps on German homes, depending on the success of Der Volksgenoss as being the prime news outlet for the German people. There are potential plans to branch out into radio and cinema news as well once the remaining competitors are either nationalized and incorporated or driven out of the industry altogether. Finally, a news source that we can trust. And we'll do this one, why not? They actually did do it. Good job, guys. Good job. Gunther. A hero's welcome is truly deserved for Gunther for this time. This time. Wow. I can't believe he actually survived. That is insane. I'm not going back to Austria. But maybe we'll go to the Bartia Commune. How about that? Three divisions. Uh, there you go. It's going there too. Why not? Going to... I know you had a good rest at home. How about you go to India? It's kind of hot. You might need a... Uh, you know, some light a travel wear. And how many casts can we send? Was it 150 or so? I don't remember. Just go 50. Doesn't matter. <sighs> That's 160 is close enough. Whatever. I can't believe we actually did it. <laughs> wow. Nice. Just, just really good. Did we actually fill this all up? Nice. Awesome. Get some more of that as well. Anti-air is pretty important, but not extremely important. We're going to need some more artillery where we're headed for. 40 combo with infantry. My goodness. How do they have all this manpower? They should be up by now, right? No, well, they should be, but... Yeah, they're almost... And no fuel either, so... Alright, so this point... Could you guys actually win there? You might be able to. Nice. This will save a little bit on manpower too. That's not bad. Grab some engineers because we can. Thank you. Alright. Back in action. 
Look, the supply issues are everywhere. Um, 40, that's not bad. We can go there, or we can go even up here as well. So, maybe we want to go here-ish. There you go. Not bad. You guys actually won. Good job, guys. Too bad Detroit has fallen, and that's going to be a big, 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 big issue. Can you guys actually win here? Yeah, they actually might. They actually might be able to. Jesus. The CSA. They're really... i got to play the CSA sometime. They're... Oh, my apologies for them loud noises. All right. That's Command Center. Superior Firepower. Okay, NVH. More planning speed. Army planning factor. Army XP. Oh, I think we can wait on that one, maybe. Uh, naval XP, Naval XP, Battleship Doctrine. Wait, we'll get a national idea depending on the previous choice. Carrier focus? I like that. Combat experience gain? Bomber focus, fighter focus? That wouldn't be bad to do, but let's do Culture Comp. The church and other non-governmental organizations that we couldn't remove directly are a real thorn in our side. Now the time has come to finally settle this and cement our grip while we're at it. We'll appropriate the churches, ban their activities, declare state atheism, and hand our own very own... Holy book. This is disgusting. This is just ungodly disgusting, but I'm so glad it's done. Like, oh my goodness. Holy crud. Uh, don't do that one. Instead, do the other one. There you go. Uh, and actually cut you guys down in half. Select all half these. There you go. There you go. Fun book. Nice. Not bad. At the same time, that Marine Division can probably look quite a bit better. There you go. Got just enough for it. Not bad. Not bad at all. All right, stroll on in, I guess. The world is just falling apart, man. Of course, you guys can already tell that. Oh, we could probably grab that, but I want to save... Uh, actually, this is another month. Uh, maybe we could do that. It is 1939. Could probably eventually use more manpower. Oh, I'm going to grab that one out. Very good, very good. 1939 stuff. Uh, that's slightly ahead of time. Get medium tanks. I should have went that for that one a little bit earlier, but whatever. We need way more of this, though. Nice. Hmm. I guess we need that one. We might as well use it. We might try to use it, actually. Ooh. Two more carriers. Nice. A lot of carriers. I mean, at least carriers probably aren't that great, honestly. But what we have is okay. At this point, I'm not going to upgrade anything else, so... I'm not going to upgrade them. I don't see the point of upgrading them, since we're going to get 1940s carriers very soon anyway, so... They should do okay. They should definitely do okay. Alright, so what are we doing here? we got enough guns. We way more artillery now, so... A little bit less on guns. A little bit more on support equipment, as well as artillery, so... But guns at the bottom, they're very, very important, don't get me wrong, but... Not really needed at the current moment nearly as much. Donkobon Union is gone. Goodbye. Ciao. The New Zealand crisis, okay. Yes, still. Jesus Christ, that's so nice. Even more fuel? Why not? A new Admiral? Schmidt. Oh, email Schmidt is not very good, but that's okay. How are we doing over here? I'm still trying to defend, I see. Cool. Keep trying to hang out. Have a good old time. Or you guys can go right there. But how about we end this episode by reading whatever happens there. And Brett's per abandon? Division speed plus 20%? That's not bad. Uh, anything else? We can't, we can't go back on the world stage. So I guess we will form the guard? Not bad. Looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. To safeguard a new society and the party, we can no longer only rely on the army and party militias. We will form a revolutionary guard of ideological fanatics under direct party command that will receive the best training and equipment. Hopefully we'll talk about that holy book um, from this last focus, hopefully. Right? Istanbul. Cool, cool, cool. 
Do we get an event? Nope. I guess not. But I guess we'll end it here, just because it's been about an hour. I've, I, I thoroughly enjoy this episode, even though we're fighting for civil wars and stuff like that, and it's taking forever. Wow, they're really killing themselves. I've really enjoyed this video, so if you enjoyed it, leave a like, subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I will see you tomorrow. After you let me know whether we should do a battleship focus, because I still want to do battleships, or we should do carrier focus. Let me know in the comments below. Regardless, thanks for watching. Have a great, great rest of your day.